So last week's winner was Blue. Blue wanted me to draw their two Pomeranians and their cat. Recently they had passed away. I typically try to just stick to one character but Blue has been around a while and I thought that it would be nice to do something with the three of them. I'm trying the new style that I've been poking at for this picture. Again, I tried a different method of doing this style than I have the last two videos. I'm trying to find something that's not as um, time consuming but still gives you a decent product in the end. I'm pretty content with how it's looking so far. I love the eyes on this one dog. I thought those turned out really cool. I like the shape and the, the lighter pupil. I think I'm getting a little bit closer to kind of narrowing down how I want to do this style. And I've always wanted wanted to try to master the simpler way of shading. Like the fur on this one dog, you can tell there's like a little bit of fur detail in various places, but it's not superly defined like in some of the other artwork that I've done or the majority of the artwork that I've done. I've always kind of admired the more simple, softer, textured fur. <laughs> um, however else you want to describe it. I've always admired how people did that and kind of want to figure it out on my own. So. I did it for this one. I really enjoy this style. I might continue doing this style for my Wednesday video. Their other dog was also a black Pomeranian, but I made these two different colors just to kind of make them stand out as individuals. I was encouraged to use artistic license to kind of tweak them a little bit. I thought it might be kind of neat to memorialize them as characters. So each of them has a couple unique traits. Uh, the eye colors are obviously not super realistic and uh, they're both, you know, they have some hue to their color, but they're still slightly different that they stand apart from one another. One thing I did different with this picture is trying to clean up the fur detail where it all breaks off from the main, like the undercoat and some finer details swirling around here and there just to give it a more fluid feel to it because I've noticed that the iPad doesn't seem to have pressure sensitivity and I'm having a tough time getting those nice shapes in there so that they aren't just blobs of lifeless fur. Her kitty is an orange tabby and uh, I had some fun playing around with the colors. Orange always has really fun contrasts in the light and the darker shades of orange. It's always been kind of fun to play with because I love how it looks when you add the higher gold color for highlights. Those are the three characters and you know it's always kind of bothered me having floating heads but you know they're just supposed to be kind of like a bust portrait of sorts and that's what I threw together here and I go in and add a very abstract kind of background. I went with green because it's more of a contrasting type color that complemented like the orange cat and their eyes I thought anyways and I wanted there to be like a light source behind them so I added a little highlight around the edges of the artwork and added some green throughout the fur just to have like a nice soft reflection on the fur. I thought the hearts were kind of a cute touch makes it a little more whimsical I guess. If you would like a chance to win some free artwork of a similar style please consider liking comment and subscribing. I will use a random comment picker to pick someone on Friday, try to have the artwork done on Sunday, and the video up on Wednesday for another drawing. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.